stand for the prayer of the church. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Confident that for the sake of Jesus Christ, the Son of David, our God, will hear our cries and be attentive to the voice of our pleas, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For God's goodness and tender care, especially on this Reformation festival, in thanksgiving for Christ, the revelation of his holy will, <coughs> let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for faithful hearts that we would remain steadfast in the word of God and never allow false gospels that lead us away from his truth and for pastors who will preach with purity and joy that we are saved by God's grace alone through faith alone because of Christ alone let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. for every Christian household that since our Savior always lives to make intercession for us, we would be constant in the sacrifices of prayers and good works, offered not out of our own weakness, but by the holy, once for all service of Christ our High Priest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that God would strike down every hostile and haughty opponent who would rebuke the voice of faith with its cries and prayers and that God would uphold our nation and its leaders in honest service for the good of the people, especially that the gospel may be heard without hindrance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For all who cry to the Lord, especially this day, Reverend Ken, John, Vinny, Paul, Eric, for Joel, Deb, Leslie, Renata, for, uh, with thanks for the wedding of Sean and Flora, with thanks for the gifts that God has given us, including our pets, with prayer for rain for our land to bring down the risk of fires, with prayer for those of our members who are traveling and others, with prayer for those who are seeking to rebuild lives after damage by storm and flood, for all these and all other needs, that God would give steadfast faith and be pleased to grant recovery, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who commune this day, that with eyes of faith they would discern the true body and blood of Christ, distributed in his New Testament, and so taste and see that he is good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord O Lord, Heavenly Father, we gratefully remember the sufferings and death of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, for our salvation. Rejoicing in his victorious resurrection from the dead, we draw strength from his ascension before you, where he ever stands for us as our own High Priest. Gather us together from the ends of the earth to celebrate with all the faithful the marriage feast of the Lamb in his kingdom, which has no end. Graciously receive our prayers, deliver and preserve us. For to you alone we give all glory, honor, and worship. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. We offer our gifts to the Lord. Continue with the service of the sacrament, page 208. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And also with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and everlasting God, for the countless blessings you so freely bestow on us and all creation. Above all, we give thanks for your boundless love shown to us when you sent your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, into our flesh and laid on him our sin, giving him into death that we might not die eternally. Because he is now risen from the dead and lives and reigns to all eternity, all who believe in him will overcome sin and death and will rise again to new life. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of all creation, for you have had mercy on us and given your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. In your righteous judgment you condemned the sin of Adam and Eve, who ate the forbidden fruit, and you justly barred them and all their children from the tree of life. Yet in your great mercy you promised salvation by a second Adam, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord and made his cross a life-giving tree for all who trust in him. We give you thanks for the redemption you have prepared for us through Jesus Christ. Grant us your Holy Spirit that we may faithfully eat and drink of the fruits of his cross and receive the blessings of forgiveness, life, and salvation that come to us in his body and blood. Hear us as we pray and in his name and as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. In the same way also, after supper he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ, through the